All right, so this is the last segment for the exponential random variables. Okay, so the previous uh, question from the, the, the last segment is that we have a lamp with a lifetime in now as an exponential random variable x with these parameters. So this is basically lambda. So what's the probability that it breaks before uh, 8,000 hours? So the PDF in this case, fx is going to be equals to uh, lambda e to the minus lambda x. And this is the uh, 0 0.1 over 10,000 times e to the minus um, what uh, x over 10,000. All right. And we want to compute this. So this is basically uh, take the integral from 0 to 8,000 of fx dx okay but we have already compute that is that this is uh, f of 800 8000 8, right this is 1 minus e to the minus uh, lambda x right so this is going to be e to the 1 minus e to the minus uh, 8 so 8,000 over 10,000, and that's uh, 1 minus e to the minus 0 0.8. And I have already computed uh, that uh, is roughly uh, about 0 0.55. Okay, so that's how you're going to compute uh, this uh, exponential uh, this digit, the, the distribution of the exponential random variable. Now, let's consider one property, nice property of the exponential random variables. So, um, so an electrical lamp has a lifetime of this. What's the probability that it breaks after, after, okay, um, 8,000 hour, hours, okay? And it's basically, uh, that's that's the uh, probability that x is larger than 8,000. Sorry. So this is uh, 1 minus f of 8,000. Right? And we have already computed it from the previous example, so it, it has to be 1 minus 1 minus e to the uh, e to the minus 0.8 right so it's basically e to the minus 0.8 all right so that's the uh, that's the value so it's basically this is roughly 1 minus the previous thing so it's going to be roughly 0 point, 0 0.45 okay it's basically 0 0.0 0 0.449 but let's say it's this Okay, so now let's look at another uh, uh, the the uh, the other example. So what's the probability the probability that it breaks after uh, a thousand uh, no uh, eighteen thousand hours after th that it breaks after this? Given that it doesn't break before ten thousand hours. Okay, so basically if you write it, it's this p of uh, x larger than uh, 18,000 given that x is larger than 1,000 uh, 10,000 okay so what exactly is this so if you recall this is big x sorry so this is conditional probability so uh, so it's basically probability that x is larger than this and x is larger than that but basically the first thing uh, actually uh, uh, concern, uh, you know this part is a subset of that so if you it's an n, n so it's just this so it has to be over the conditional clause so x larger than 10,000 okay so you can just leave it out okay if you compute this uh, so this is exactly uh, what I, I would like to do uh, so let's try to compute it so this is uh, 1 minus f 1 8 0 0 0 
over 1 minus f 1 0 0 0 0 okay so that's uh, e to the minus 1 a 0 0 0 over 1 over e to the minus 1000 over 1000 okay and if you do the calculation you can get that this is exactly e to the minus uh, this is gonna be this is gonna go up and it add this so it subtract uh, uh, 10,000 out so you end up this with 8,000 over 10,000 so it's gonna be e to the minus 0 0.8 and it's the same result so this is equal to 0 0.45 something okay um, if you look at this we know that this is this equal to that okay and not just that this can be uh, a thousand it can be just a thousand five um, you know uh, fifteen thousand so th if this is 23 you if you solve it then you get the same exact uh, equation so in, in general uh, you can prove this. Uh, you have to prove it in the section. So um, we have that uh, for exponential random variable, the x, the probability that x is larger than t is going to be equal to the probability that x is larger than s plus t given that x is larger than s. So this is like um, the probability that um, something lasts more than t period of time in the exponential random variable equals to uh, the fact that uh, to the same has the same probability that if you know that uh, it lasts for for so if you look at this uh, let me draw the timeline so you want to say uh, how long does uh, what the probability that it lasts this much okay it's equal to the the this 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 okay so if you know that it already lasts at least as long and if you think about another period of length t the probability that um this thing is gonna last up to this time period equals to the the has the same uh distribution or it's it, the probability that it lasts after t units after given that it lasts for already lasts for s unit of time equals to the the the, the probability here so um, the fact that it lasts for s a s uh, period of time doesn't change these probabilities so uh, people call this as the memoryless property of the exponential random variable uh, it's memoryless because you know it doesn't remember this s right wherever if you know that right now it does it, it still works um, it looks it still works as if uh, it is new okay so it's memoryless so this is a nice really nice property of the exponential random variable okay all right so in the end let's talk about its expectation okay so you want to compute expected value of an exponential random variable x so if you look at the uh, definition, so e of x is going to be, so you're going to take uh, this from minus, uh, so let's, let's say uh, it's PDF is fx, so it's going to be, you're going to take this uh, x times fx dx, right? So this is the definition of the expectation, but fx is zero when uh, x is negative, so this is just, you can just take this from 0 to infinity of x times the PDF. So the PDF is uh, lambda e to the minus lambda x dx. Okay. All right. And we would like to compute the expected value. So we want to, you know, solve this uh, equation, uh, this expression. All right, so to do that, we're going to do the integral integration by parts. If you remember, it's basically this formula. 
so you wanna um, you wanna change uh, the dv here to be here and then it's uh, the multiplications so uh, if you look at this uh, you uh, you can guess so this is gonna be our u and this part is gonna be our v okay so uh, dv sorry so because dv is this so v is what is exactly v so v has to be um, what is it so it's going to be uh, e to the minus x, right? If you take the derivative, you can get that. Um, you can get exactly that, okay? So dv is going to be equal to uh, what is that? So it's going to be minus you know, e to the uh, minus lambda x, right? Okay, so um, so uh, this is uh, not exactly v. It's going to be minus v dv. So uh, v has to be minus this. Oh, sorry. Minus v is equal to this. So dv is like this. This plus plus this. So v has to be minus this. All right. And okay, so. Um, after we have this, so this is to, this has to be equal to uh, um, u v. So what is u? So it's going to be x times v. So v is uh, minus e to the minus. Oh, x is x is just x, right? U is x, right? So this is has to be. Yeah, I completely forget most of this, but let's try to you know actually work on it. So this has to be e to the uh, minus lambda x, right? And this is has to take zero from zero to infinity. Okay, then it has to minus this. So uh, it has to be the integral of uh, v du. So v is minus uh, zero to infinity. Okay, so v is minus e to the minus lambda x dx. So it's just x, the x. All right. Um, okay. So let's plug it in. Okay. So um, the first term, this first term, if you look at it, it's basically uh, when x is zero. When 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 x is zero, it, this is just zero, right? Because multiply by x. And when um, x is infinities, so this go to zero. So the first term goes to zero. Now the second term, let's uh, try to plug it in. So it's gonna be the, uh, gonna take this integral. It has to be it will be end up like that. Okay. So this is gonna be uh, minus uh, e to the minus lambda x because you need to take the minus here, right, um, over lambda. Right, so and this is from zero to infinity. Okay, if now we need to plug it in. So it's, if this goes to infinity, then uh, it's gonna be zero, and if this is zero, then uh, so this is one, right? So you end up with uh, you have to subtract this when it is zero. So it's basically one over lambda. So that's that's the results. So you can just remember this, okay? So the expected value of uh, an exponential random variable is just 1 over lambda. Okay? I hope I did this correctly. Otherwise, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, record the clips again. Alright, so uh, let's finish with, with some example. So if you have a web application and it serves uh, um, a, a bunch of requests, and the number of uh, the number of requests it serves before it crashes is an exponential random variable whose average is uh, uh, five thousand. So it serves five thousand requests and it dies. Um, so what's the probability that it crash after it serves at least these uh, three thousand requests? Um, so if this is this value is low, then we can uh, if the web application runs up to uh, this this may serve this many requests we can just restart it so that to prevent it to crash before we, we know it right 
So this value is uh, so uh, this exponential right now is let's call it x, and we know that expected value of x is this. Okay, so it's exponential random variable. So we know that the expected value of x is going to be one over lambda, and this is uh, five five thousand. Okay, so we know that now. So we know that uh, PDF of x is uh, what is that? We know that um, one over lambda is uh, is uh, five thousand. So the PDF of x is lambda times e to the minus lambda x, right? So it's going to be uh, 1 over 5,000 times e to the minus x over 5,000. All right. And you want to know the probability that it crashed after it served at least this. So it's going to be 1 minus f of 3,000. And that is going to be e to the minus uh, uh, 3,000 over 5,000 and this is roughly uh, sorry I need to do some calculations so it has to be roughly uh, 5, uh, 0 0.548 so that's the probability that we want. All right. Um, all right. So uh, let's look at the. So we we look at two ran type of random variables, exponential random variables, and previously Poisson random variables. And recall that we use uh, the same examples to motivate this type of random variables. And um, so this is not just a coincidence. Um, there's a close relationship between uh, exponential random variables with parameter uh, lambda and Poisson random variables with the same parameters. Um, in in class, you perform some experiment and 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 try uh, you see it yourself. All right, so that's it for the exponential random variables. Uh, we'll discuss about uh, jointly uh, distributed random variables next.